In this video, we'll talk about X-linked A-gamma globulinemia. This is a high-yield video for USMLE Step 1. Let's talk about the cause of X-linked A-gamma globulinemia. So this is caused by a mutation in the gene that encodes for the kinase BTK. This BTK kinase is really important in context of B-cell development. BTK is a non-receptor tyrosine kinase. In this, in this mutation, BTK is not produced or functional BTK is absent. So let's see what happens. But thing is, why BTK is important? Actually, in the bone marrow, while B cell is developing, pro B cell gets eventually converted to pre B cell. And in this conversion process, there are several signaling cascades going on. One such cascade is modulated by the enzyme BTK. So once BTK is absent, this particular step of B cell development does not take place. So if we put it simply that BTK regulates several part of an important signaling pathway. BTK leads to activation of phospholipase C beta thereby increasing the calcium levels in the B cells. And that leads to several downstream changes. But once BTK is absent, all these uh, factors are not happening. So in the overall maturation process, BTK takes a very important role. Obviously, we can now appreciate why BTK gene mutation can lead to a B cell maturation defect or B cell developmental defect. So pro, C, pro B cells never become plasma cells in this particular disease. That is why none of the antibodies are generated. So two important features of this particular uh, disease is no B cell and no antibodies. That lead to a risk of infection. When it comes to genetics, this trait is X-linked. And BTK gene mutation is transmitted from uh, mother to generally the male child because in the male child there is no uh, extra X chromosome to counterbalance the faulty X chromosome. In a female, there is always a normal copy that can possibly counterbalance the faulty copy. That's why generally females are the carriers whereas the males are the affected ones. That's why this disease is also known as X-linked A-gamma globulinemia. Let's talk about the symptoms. So obviously if the B cells are ab uh, absent and the development doesn't happen, then you don't have antibodies. The infants with XLA are having several throat, ear and lung infection. Sometimes the infection is very serious and it goes to central nervous system or it damages internal organs and these children tend to cope up well with short viral infection but they are susceptible to chronic viral infection such as hepatitis they have a smaller size of tonsil so let's talk about the treatment option so gamma globulin infusion through the vein is one of the uh, way to treat this disease so on a weekly basis or on a uh, like once in a two week, this kind of infusion has to be injected, which are generally purified antibodies injected through the veins. Also, supportive medicines like antibiotics would reduce the risk of bacterial infection. So I hope that was useful. If you need more notes and flashcards, you can get into my Facebook page or Instagram. You can support our channel with super thanks. And thank you for listening. See you in next video.